computation when we deal with simpy we talk about working with symbolic computations and when the term comes with a symbolic computation we say symbolic computation deals with the computation of mathematical objects symbolically right like mathematical objects what we represent what we write are approximately and like written up here like exactly the mathematical expressions or the uh, uh, like unevaluated variables what we like assign something to right x equals to 5 and all something like that right so that is called as symbolic computation and simply is one of uh, such package a library which helps you to do all the symbolic computation you need to do with your uh, equations and all right so what are the things to be imported from simply import the very first thing okay from simply import everything and from simply dot abc import everything that's the first two thing to be imported up here as the uh, you can say model you can say functions anything okay the very beginning thing these are to be done the very is uh, starting okay now uh, let's have an example suppose you want to find a square root of any number right what are the possible ways we can use quick answer <coughs> what are the possible ways we can do question is you want to find the square root of uh, 25 let's say right what are the possible methods sorry hmm use sqrt who is speaking kulchita sir all right so you are there fine uh use sqrt of what of 25 25 sqrt of 25 like this no no math dot math dot so math dot this or is it square root dot square root dot math sqrt dot math <laughs> First, you have to import math, sir. Very good. <laughs> import math. Math dot sqrt. Twenty five. Next option. From math, import square root. Hmm. I think this is Nishita or Punita. Who is that? Punita. Good. Good. From math import sqrt sqrt of twenty five. Next option. Hmm. What next? C math. Can we use this? Can you use this? It's for only complex. Hmm. But still, getting something. Five plus zero j. This is the answer. I'm asking this is the possible ways. Should apply. Yeah. Next. Okay. You all are using everything apart from this. Yeah. Any other possible ways? Obviously, we are learning simply, and also we can write uh, simply is not defined. I think we should directly write square root of twenty-five. Yeah, because we have imported every of the module from the simply, right? 
so we can directly write sqrt of 25 now that's the basic thing right so square root can be find in various ways right you can have seen we can use c math why I have used real only to see the real part of that complex number right from math we have used sqrt similarly for this uh, we have used for this all you know like for the simply uh, one more thing you can do you can import even simply if that's also easy okay fine right now uh, these are all what what I have used 25 right that's a perfect square now what if a number is not a perfect square let's talk about what will be the square root of 35 something some values would be there obviously if I say math dot okay let's see c math dot sqrt of 25 sorry 35 some values uh, dot real and dot round off to 2 so let's round off this total number by 2 so 5.92 let's say Right, understood what's the function of round? Understood, yes, no. He just say yes or no. Yes, sir. Good. So kindly say. If anyone having any doubts, you can just ask anytime, right? So uh, square root of 35, it's 5.92, right? But in case of simpy, Sim, uh, this symbolic computation I'm asking, saying, right? In case that if you, uh, in simply if you, any number which is not having a perfect square will be represented as under square root, right? Okay? So if a question comes, cube root of 3 plus cube root of 9, what is cube root of 9? Okay, what is cube root of 27? 3. 3. Now, how can you find cube root of 27? That 27 uh, star star 3. Asterisk, that is asterisk. Yeah, after. Then, 1 by 3. Yeah. Cool. You know CBRT something C call as CBRT. Okay, it's not having something CBRT for the math. It is for uh, math. Hmm? What is this? It's not having CBRT. Uh, we have simply no, 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 no. Cube root is having CBRT. Once again, yeah, stop. CBRT should work. Uh, and okay, fine. If it is not working, it's okay. It should work. In NumPy, it is. Okay, in NumPy, it is. Okay, fine. This function is for the numpy what I can see. NP. Yes, 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 answer. Three. Right. But in case here, in simpy, right? When we work for the simpy, we can just easily write root root of twenty seven. Right? Root of 27. What root of 27? Cube root of 27. That's 3. Then we can answer. If I say 25th root of 2 under root, that's 5. If I say cube root, that's 5, 2 by 3. If I say 4th root, that's like something like this. 5th root something like this okay 
file so it goes like this all right so that is the thing if i say uh, uh, like root of 8 square root of 8 it's 2 root 2 right all the symbolic representation whatever you get in a numerical value in numpy or let's talk about the uh, the math module you will get all the symbolic representation here itself okay so let's uh, let's take a common example now coming up to the ex expressions and all right very common expression uh, we all have been dealing with right that is like um, a plus b equals to c right a plus b equals to c now uh, the very first step is what is an equation right that that is all we discuss right like i'm not going to discuss that right so a plus b equals to should i write this as a plus b equals c is that valid hmm? is this valid a plus b equals c or even if i uh, say that a plus b is equals to c is this valid answer no no why uh, what are the a b c are no fixed values are there how they can be equal okay what if i say a plus b so it should be like i should get an output like this these are not defined right correct if i run a plus b this is getting an ex expression something this is why because in the starting i have written from simpy dot abc import asterisk what is this simpy dot abc if i go to the directory of simpy dot abc so what are these things okay let me print this should be better print right what i can see here is a b c d e f g h i j k and, and all till z right and then after we are having a alpha b beta c chi and and until z right so these all are the like words or you can say the symbols which are used in mathematics and then we have the alphabets capital and even the lower cases right so even if we don't declare any uh, variable something like that we can if we are using simply dot abc and we are writing everything then we can write any of this out. like if i say theta then what is theta i haven't defined here but if, if i run i'll get the symbol because i have imported everything from this directory okay so like whenever you want to know what function you are working or what is there in that directory so you can directly write dir once again uh, running there 22 okay fine yeah so you can directly write the directory of whatever the function it is okay right like when you work with the list what are there in the list what all functions are there in the list append clear copy count extend index insert pop remove reverse sort all this right and all all these uh, formats and all directories and all, like, you can work with any of things right see like directories there you can use format you can so if we even not define all these things like if we don't define simply dot abc then obviously we are going to get that error but uh, since we have defined i have defined in the very previous thing and why i have written this this is not a compulsion one it is because like what happens like if i don't write this what i will have to do like while going with this simple expression what i will have to do is to make symbols in this uh, like to make variables in simply you will have to define a comma b is equals to like when you are defining more than one symbol you should have to write a comma b as symbols and then a comma b you'll have to manually define every of the symbols you will be using and if you are using theta or something like that then you will have to write from simply dot abc import theta so in place of doing all that hard work what i did simply 
from simpy.abc import everything that's it so i don't need to write every of uh, i don't need to define all the symbols and like all this uh, symbol uh, all this abc variable names and all what i'll be defining okay clear clear sir yes clear okay fine so that's why we we didn't get an error but still if we if i write a plus b equals c i'll i'll surely get an error because that there is a syntax error because this cannot assign to the operator equals we cannot just use like this right symbol symbols cannot like variables variables expressions these are expressions so basically we need to write an equation this is an equation a plus b equals c uh, so making an equation is different and expressing an equation is different so i can write that this is an expression uh, expression which could be a plus b and i can see uh, my ex as a plus b and this is somewhat equals to c right that's it but what if i just want to uh, define something like a plus b equals c in that case i'll have to use a function that is called as eq equation easy functions so i'll have to write a plus b is equals to c that's it easy one and when i run this this will be a plus b equals to c that's this how we write the very basic thing and very important one that how we declare functions how we write equations in uh, python whenever we will be dealing with any of the functions we are going to write like this then needing the absolute value of any number abs it's easy i'll give you all this uh, shortcuts and all right absolute value of a minus b like there's something mod mod of a minus b okay we'll be dealing it like if we, if i want to express like mod of minus x what is mod of minus x x hmm. mod of minus x is equals to x but if this is an equation how to write something like this eq of abs of minus x is equals to x right so it's basically getting you mod over there so it's not like to write uh, yeah One second. Uh, minus. Oh, this is wrong. This is wrong. Basically wrong. Oof. Mod of x is basically x. You define it there, right? Minus or plus anything. Mod is always x. Correct. Okay. So, like, there are various functions related to this, right? So, expressions can be made easily with this, right? Okay, so let's say one expression is that x square plus one. Okay, now e x is x square plus one. Now, what is the value of this equation or this expression? If I say x is equals to five, twenty six. Twenty six. Very good. So, what should I do? I should write x is equals to twenty six. and then I, i should write ex value x is equal to 5 no oh, sorry i'm oh, sorry sorry x is equals to 5 and then should i write ex but what will happen then then for the whole uh, program i'll i'll again have to import x and x like for how many times i'll be using for so many times i'll have to import x again as a variable otherwise it will kept a value of 5 it will keep a value of 5 right so for uh, like for removing all these problems what we have a function called as substitute right there we don't need to assign the value sorry there we don't need to store the value we only assign the value like right? we only give it that use it for once that's it we are not giving the actual value for that but we are not declaring the value right so we have a substitute function for that so we just write ex dot subs for substituting the values substituting the value of x in what equation so equation this ex ex i have a equation substituting the value of ex with x with equals to 5 and so getting the result as 26 that's it right and if i see my x that is still the variable okay got it that's a basic thing right many a times uh, like student have problems when when they like uh, when they go for the simp test like i have given question something like this so they do x is equals to 5 and they're going for ex still they get the answers like this and they say sir it's not working 
it's not working so they will again have to write e x is equals to x square plus 1 and then going with the e x now they will get 26 but again then when they say x plus 1 they'll get equals to 6 now why because x is equals to 5 so you're not going to get any expressions now you're only getting the values so you'll have to do from simply or uh, you'll have to write x is equals to for one function you'll have to write s capital and no s further after symbol and then you can write x so x is equals to x and now you can get your x as the variable again okay so when you are working with any expression and you want to substitute the value you don't want to assign the value always try to substitute it don't don't define the things over there all right easy understood clear having questions having any doubts in the mind okay so let's take an equation so my equation is 1 by x plus 3 multiplied by x by 2 minus 2 divided by x minus 4 so this is pretty the equation this looks like 3x by 2 what is the solution if I solve this quick what could be the solution if we solve this go quick Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Minus four by three and two. Is this solving? Oh, uh, but how you will be going to solve it? This is the equation. Equate with zero and give the answer. Okay, fine. You solve afterwards, right? So, like something, this is called as function of solve. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> uh, this is used basically to uh, solve linear algebra problems, algebraic problems, basically. M most of the algebra problems with that, right? Whenever you have any of algebraic problem, simple linear equations, polynomials, all that can be solved using the solve function. Anything you uh, discuss for any of the problems, it can be easily solved. You know, right? Then something we call as LinkedIn, right? LinkedIn, you know. We have a short form for LinkedIn. What is the symbol of LinkedIn? Mm -hmm. What is the symbol of LinkedIn? Where you guys are? Ellen, Ellen, you know, Ellen, something like this. Symbol? What is the symbol of Ellen in mathematics? Okay, it's logarithm. Logarithm. If I say Ellen of 10 log 10 you know it's okay ln of 10 is log 10 right you don't know ln is like logarithmic something lan lan okay you say lan fine i say ln linkedin <laughs> okay so uh, there is like log 10 something log 10 of 10 okay log 10 is not defined okay fine fine i'll define it once right so we use these things right but in this case in log cases log cases we we cannot work with all these symbols we define normal symbols like uh, we don't we cannot write log of x this x y some something log x y something like this right so uh, what is the formula of log x y log x plus log y log x plus log y correct so for expanding okay i have got the answer right uh, basically when you go for any of the formulas right when you say log x y right 
equals to log s plus log y. What is that? Expanded form of that formula, right? In this short form, you can say. So to see the expanded form, we can just say expand. What we are expanding? A log. So expand log of what? Log of x y. So that will not expand, basically, right? For now, okay? Because x and y are just a symbol. You have to define that x and y are positive symbols. How? You'll have to write x and y equals symbols x and y. Okay? And you don't give the comma, give the gap, that's it. But you say that positive is equals to true. These are positive symbols, not real. And you can even take real equals to zero, uh, real equals to true, right? Now, if you say expand log of what log of x y will give you results log x plus log y. Okay, so what will be the expand of log x minus y? Uh, sorry, x, x divided by y. Log x minus log, log y. Right. Fine. Good. Okay. Now, do you remember any such uh, uh, mathematical expression that if I, I think I have asked, if I give you five zeros, can you make something like, if I give you four zeros, let's say. Uh, well, what is that? Sir, if we don't define x and y as positive values, we won't get the expansion. No, no. In in log, what we do? Do we consider what is the definition of logarithmic uh, uh, log? Something like any log. What is the definition? What is log? Only the positive. One second. I'll show you here. Hmm, are we getting any mathematical definition here? Yeah, see? What we are getting here? What is the definition? For any two positive real numbers. Right? So you should define here. Here we have to basically define that we are using a positive number. A positive you can say a positive uh, function, a positive variable. Only then you are going to get it. Okay? Okay, sir. So for that, we can use it. Okay? Like that. All right, where was I? What I was asking? I was asking something to you. What was that? Four zeros. Ah, yeah. Four zeros. So if I give you one, I give you two, three, and four. 4, 3, 12, yeah. And I say you to make 20, no. Yeah, 24 with this. How can you make? Yes, yes. Quick. The output should be 24. Yeah. So from uh, class... Can I consider 0 as a symbol and assign a value for that? No, 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 no. 0 is uh, not a symbol. This is a number. Very good. You will consider 0 as a symbol. Then you will say 1, 0 equals to 24. Rest 0 equals 0. 24 plus 0 24. <laughs> Whose idea it was? Who was that? Mine, sir. <laughs> good, good. One one zero equals to twenty four. 
Thus we will add sir equals to twenty four. Divide twenty four by. Divide twenty four by four. From where the twenty four came? You only gave me so. Oh no! I said, <laughs> I said to give, get the output. Uh, divide twenty four by two four times. Like uh, not four. You times, don't. Like, you okay. cannot use any other number other than zero. Only use zero. Use zero plus zero minus zero multiply zero divide zero anything but only zero. Get any other number with zero. That is okay. You cannot bring any number to use with zero. Right. You can do any calculation with zero, and then you can get any other number. That's okay. Okay. You have fifteen more seconds. Sir, you want to try? Yeah. No. <laughs> Thank you. I'm actually I'm barely working an office work. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, fifteen seconds over. All right, now let's say, what was your uh, class eleven chapters in mathematics? last last chapters last chapters like after class uh, like after chapter 10 what was the chapters remembered okay uh, i'll give you one chapter name you know like uh, there was something called as uh, what was uh, permutations and combinations something factorial yes sir what is the factorial of zero What if I uh, do it for four times? Four factorial? Zero? What if I get the factorial of four? With the zero, I made four, and with the four, I made twenty-four. Easy, tricky, very easy question. Didn't understand. See. Factorial of zero, one. The same I am going to do with all the zeros I gave you. One plus one plus one. What is that? One, right? So with all the zeros, I am going to give you this, right? One, two, three, four zeros. Four factorial. Doing factorial of all the zeros. So I got one number that is four. Now making factorial of this four gives twenty-four. That's it. My answer. Understood. Yes, sir. Good. Very. Good. So, like, nice question. Easy. Trying to find any method. More. Okay, fine. Let's go further. So, for finding factorial of any equation, uh, finding factorial of any number, what to use? This number, this uh, this function, right? Factorial function to get the factorial of any number. Okay. Oh God, it's hitting. Nice. Right. So, let's say a factorial of. X by x minus one. That is x by x minus one. Why? Why it is one? Yeah. Why? Why it is one? Oh God! X by x is equals to one. One minus one zero zero factorial is one. I haven't made a bracket. You guys need a spectacle. Right, it is x by x minus one factorial. Obviously, what I did, I by mistake I didn't put the bracket. That's okay. So, you see, x by x is equals to one minus one zero again. That zero factorial one came right. Okay, fine. 
okay so you are clear with like how to write expressions how to write up the things right so we sometimes use uh, like if we can expand any equation so we can also shorten like any equation so if we say log combine is a function like which shortens something like if you say log x plus log y say so this is equals to log x y you say yes sir this is equals to log x y if we run this this is a log x y okay Second, two, three, twelve, and twelve, six, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, one, twenty, twenty-three. Okay, and twenty-nine, seventy-three, one. It's nice, nineteen point one, seventy-six. Okay, fine. Yeah. So, like, you can go with this, right? Okay. So let's give you some of the equations and also one more one more factor like if you have any equation and you want factorization of that you know factorization like any equation you're having and you want factor of that so what can you do use factor function uh, say any equations to be factorized let's say okay let me take from the internet factorization questions it going there strike for 54x squared plus 42x cube uh, let me copy this 54x squared okay this is something like this 44x cube and 30 x with power 4 something Factorize this easy invalid symbol. Oh. Is this the answer coming? Mm -hmm. Is this you are getting? Minus 6x, obviously, you will get something like this, right? Because, okay, one second, one second, one second. Uh, this is this, right? So, uh, fine, it was correct. So, minus 6x square, 5x square, minus 7x, minus 9, right? So, these are the procedures, how you make factorization, how you make combination of the logs and all, right? Now, let's say you have an equation, a trigonometric equation, right? Cos theta plus cos square theta plus sine square theta. What's the formula? One. Very good. We can't search. I'm not getting one. I'm only getting the expression. I'm not getting the value. So for value, what I have to do? I have to use something function. Whoa, that's going good. Nineteen point. Okay, twenty done. One ninety one. That's great. Should have taken. All right, so there are two functions. One is called as simplify, and next is called as your uh, what's that? What is it? Trigs m. What is trigs m? Trigonometry simplification. Okay. One is better uh, something called as simplify, where you can easily simplify the equation, and next is Triggs M, where is it is called as Triggs, like that's exactly trigonometric uh, simplification. All right, now we can say Triggs M 
of I'm not going to write again copy it paste it run this and getting the equation and you can easily use simplify of this to get the answer that is also one okay as a thing now what is one by two what is rational number Something, P, something in the form, a number is a form in the uh, P by Q, number in the form of P by Q. So if I say this is A equals to this, this is A, where it is, this is A. So what is the P and what is the Q? C, P is three and Q is four. This is something, A dot P, A dot Q, variable dot P, variable dot Q. That's the process to write the things. Okay. Now, uh, you can make rational. So you, this is how you can make a rational, right? But uh, what if you want to define a rational, but not to uh, like uh, solve that? If you say rational of one by two plus rational of one by two. run this one you are getting but what if you don't want to get the answer think of what we can do like if we don't want to get the answer not to simplify this then what we can write what we can use if i don't want to get the answer of this one plus two and one plus two Mm -hmm. Any uh, like thinking of anything, whatever you can just go on. Okay, fine. So there must be something more, something more functions for working with this. So I say simplify, not simplify, simplify. Simplify is something like which converts your string to mathematical symbols. So if I say simplify of 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2, run this, still I getting 1. So what is the use of this function? The first usage is that you are writing in a string and you are getting an answer in the mathematical output. Okay. So here is one parameter which says evaluate equals true or false. So I say false. So that's an expression 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 so if I say evaluate by default it is always true if you say false you will not get the solution you will only get the expression so 1 plus 2 plus 1 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 evaluate equals to false getting the just the result here in case if I say 1 ply x plus 1 by 2 that's it so however you want to make it there you can make it's easy okay whatever you want to make it there you can easily make right so that's a basic thing all right okay fine fine right so simply can be used as for the like what you are seeing here right that can be used as a simply okay now if i say uh, what is the formula of tan 2x Py. So I am going to ask Py. Yes, Python. Pujita Yadav. Python. Yes, answer. Sir. Okay. Time's up. Next. Next one. Nishita. Mic problem. Uh, Neha. Like you guys are having long, long names. Hmm. One. What is this? Okay. Fine. S. 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 What is that? S is the answer. <laughs> okay. S from sign. Okay. Fine. Sign. S for sign. 
nowadays we are like looking up in the television like there are a lot of short name coming s r a <laughs> yes a s for sign sign of okay you, you want to say sign of 2x by cos of 2x right so she is elaborating something that's also 2 tan x divided by 2 tan x okay 2 tan x divided divided by, by Uh, one minus, minus tan square x. Wow, two answers. So who are the contributors? Who said the answers? One was the voice of Python, and what was the second voice? Neha. Neha sir. Yes. Okay. Why you said yes? He called her name, sir. So she told yes, just to respond. Her name starts from N. I could see N E H A. Okay, her surname starts from S. Okay, okay, okay. I was reading that for that. She is also not the same. What's the score? One ninety one. Nice. So uh, this is the formula you all are saying, right? So why I'm writing all these things, right? Uh, there must be something more function. Like if we have a plus b whole square expansion, what is the formula a plus b to the power ten? Binomial expansion. Start doing. Ten of a plus b whole power nine. Wow. Expand a plus b to the power ten. Oh no, a is having any value? Okay. eq x plus y to the power 10 expand eq oh what the result x to the power 10 okay your answer is correct next i think my is also correct so uh, simply we have expand trigonometry easy expand log expand trigonometric expand polynomials everything <laughs> Uh, so expanding tan to x. Let's see what you say is correct. Obviously, great mathematicians you are. Two tan x by one minus tan square x. Very good. Correct. Okay. What is the formula of? Uh, you know, hyperbolic trigonometric functions. Might be knowing. Yes. Yes. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Very good, very good. So, uh, what is the formula of cos h of square divided by, let's say, sine h? Hmm. What is the formula of this? Yes, S P Y. Okay, Nidhi, what about you? What you are doing? Nidhi is keeping quiet. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you know how to write. What is the answer? Again, that's easy. Don't do any calculation. Use trigsim. Apply that. Get the answer. One by tan x by x. Okay. I think you might be knowing this one. Plus, do you know this? Very good. This is cos h two x. All right. Questions will be later on done. Right. Fine. Now let me know. Right. If I say x to the power of a multiplied by x to the power of b, what is that? X to the power of a. Yes. Ma. Ha. Yes. Oh. 
x to the power of a b. Yeah. Uh, x to the power of a b. A plus b. A plus b. Sir is correct. A b is wrong. Who was that a b? Punita sir. Very good. So x to the power of a multiplied by x to the power of b. So x to what is this a is having? Okay. So let it be c. So x to the power of b, x to the power of c. So some someone said x to the power of b c. Not like that a c, right? But it is b plus b c. B plus c, no sir. <laughs> okay, that's b plus c, right? So uh, how to write that? Like there is something called as powers, right? So we have powers. Uh, you, you can say a powers function, right? Like we are having. Uh, trigonometric for trigonometric we have trigsim for power we have powersim so that's x to the power of b plus c okay so that is b plus now rationals can also be written as like uh, rational of 3 by 4 you said like some Three by four can be also done like this. Students have doubt many times. Okay, so can be easily done. So expandations are clear to you, I think, right? Uh, so does the powers are also clear? Maybe maybe powers will be clear, right? Okay, uh, then we come up with something called as partial fraction. You know, partial fractions. You can do right. Let's give you an example. Let's take a uh, question. Do a partial fraction of this. After this, we are going to start pandas. Right, likely to be uh, done tomorrow, I think. So today, I am going to complete this one. So, equation is this: four x cube plus twenty one x square plus ten x plus twelve by x four five x cube plus five x square plus four x. What is the partial fraction of this? That is partial fraction decomposition of this rational fraction. Dot pi mm. Mm -hmm. okay fine so we have function called as a part a p a r t a part very easy right uh, that performs basically a partial fraction decomposition on any rational fractions like the function you can say that is supposed to be have a partial fraction so we can use a part of e q uh, answer is there 2x minus 1 by x squared plus x plus 1 minus 1 by x to plus 4 and plus 3 by x. Okay. Like this. Uh, like uh, sometimes when you have an equation like uh, x minus y multiplied by x plus y divided by x plus y uh, okay mm, but still we get the things you don't have to cancel correct uh, okay let's say you have an equation Sorry. Let's see if this is x square or x 
plus one whole square would work. Let's see how much this works. Yeah. So if this equation is x square plus 2x plus 1, what if we are going to simplify this? Uh, uh, remember the basic simplifications we do cancel you know uh, we talk something about a cancel term what we do in cancellations we take common from both sides uh, you, uh, both p and q like upper part and lower numerator and denominator uh, so what will be the you answer? get x plus 1 divided by x yeah so we can use simplify we can use cancel we can use uh, solve and all Right, so cancel of EQ. It cancels the things and you get the answers. Okay, like that. So, uh, like this, we have a lot of uh, functions. So, till now, I think we have discussed all the, all the basics and all in mathematics, whatever we do. Now, coming up to uh, more like you know, good part to integrations, differentiations. Okay. So coming with very basic, so uh, when we come to integrals, integrations and all, we have two things, integral where we used to define that we are writing this question, like we are going to solve this integral, right? And one is integrate where we actually do the integration, okay? So if I say what is the integration of cos theta, so I mean to write a question that means integral of cos theta. Okay, so what is the integral of cos theta? Minus sin theta. Yeah, what you said? Minus sin x. sin theta right so integrate of this is sin theta you can also write with reference i'm uh, sorry with respect to theta okay now so this is something called as indefinite when you have definite then you have to write your limits lower upper and all right so let's say if we set limits so we say integral something okay i'm just giving an example so integral of when we say e to the power of something then we use exponentiation right exponentiation so e if i say e to the power of minus x then i'm going to use exponentiation of minus x that is e to the power of minus x okay and then i set the limits and all so do the integration of e to the power of minus x with respect to x the lower limit is zero and the upper, upper limit is infinity so for infinity we use 0 0 uh, that is o o small o o two times but you can write infinity otherwise i am using short form okay so this is integral of e to the power of minus x with the respect of dx with the integration of 0 to x uh, infinite infinite okay fine that's a possibility things like easy one and if you want to integrate this you can just write integrate i think one would be answer uh, one i step in. one yeah right so integral keep it integral okay so like this you can make it all right then how this is made it uh, when we talk about limits, you know, like we discuss, we have learned limits too. So limits can be done like you write limit, okay? And uh, let's say, and just giving and how we can write. It. Let's say if the limit is cos x minus one by x, so you write cos x minus one by x. That's it, okay? And then you define with respect, like limit of if I say limit of x tending to 0 of cos x minus 1 by x, so I am going to write limit of x tending to 0 
after that right after writing the function i will say limit of x tending to 0 of this function and that's it run this clear doubts having any doubts no No, sir. Very good. If I say sin theta square or you say uh, okay. What is the formula of cos theta square minus sin theta square? cos 2x or oh, cos 2 theta yeah it will be cos 2 theta if I say expand trigonometric cos 2 theta or might be you are getting most of the times like this solve this you get cos 2 theta so can I write cos 2 theta is equals to cos theta square cos theta square minus sin square theta or like uh, 2 cos square theta minus 1 can I write like this this is equals to this so if I say this is an equation e q 1 e 1 let's say and this is an equation e 2 If all, uh, both of these are the uh, like separate equations, so isn't this uh, both equations same? These are same, right? So I can write e1 is equal equals e2. Will I get the positive result, true or false? True. True. Okay. One true. What about rest? False. Why? Because no, it's true. True. Why? Like, so, uh, like uh, first one is having cos square theta minus sine square theta. That is obviously two cos square theta minus one, right? E one and E two. If you see, e, what is E one? Cos square theta minus sine square theta. That is cos two theta, right? And if you say to uh, E two, that is. 2 cos square theta minus 1 which is exactly the expandation of this so if we summarize this then again we are going to get this right if i say trig them like we like solving so obviously i'm going to get the same thing uh, okay once again that is cos square getting the same thing right so we can we write e1 equals equals to e2 cannot but you need to solve to the to solve it there okay let's say i say this as cos 2 theta now can i say this yes sir okay what about the rest what you guys are thinking anything other than true and false these guys are thinking anything other than true and false what is the next outcome going to come uh, other than true and false Punita, Nishita, Neha, Nidhi, what you guys are thinking? Any other output? Neutral output? True only, sir. No output? No, true. True. Okay. Three true answers. What about Nishita, Neha? What you guys think? Okay, you guys don't think. <laughs> this is true. This is true, right? And now say A plus B whole square 
equal equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab is the same yes sir who said answer yes okay fine what about the rest 1 2 3 4 5 quickly t or f no yes okay no no pujita is saying no neha nidhi and nishita what 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 you are doing yes sir hong kong letter okay run this and false why false so python said false why because it's not simplified it's just comparing the uh, things it's not simplified and then okay it's not simplified see uh, when you are comparing uh, uh, you can say expressions we cannot just use equal equals like that is not such thing equal equals is something when the values are same you know values are same not expressions in the above case what happened this value and this value is same for that why for that's why we got the correct result otherwise if it has been uh, two multiplied by what was that cos theta square right previous one cos theta square minus 1 if it is this then this is false still like we have both equations equal right because both values are same just only have to shorten that so these two values are also same but we are getting false right why because expressions are different right so when you are comparing with an equation like for for, for an expression then you will have to write something different right how let's say if this is uh, s and if this is okay let's say if this is e1 and this is e2 okay two of the equations so e1 accordingly is not equals to e2 but if i say e1 equals e2 will give you a true result because this equals function is used to compare two expressions and then to find whether there is any such relationship between two functions or two of the expressions or not is the right hand side equals to left hand side in any case even by solving or without solving is that something related to e each other even if it is there one case you will be getting a true result okay so when you are dealing with expressions you want to compare whether you have got the correct results or not you can just use this two things to get the expected results clear outs no sir great okay one minute i have one question okay uh what if i say that value of sin inverse 1 sin inverse 1 sin 1 pi by 2 and like sin inverse 1 pi by 2 all right leave this uh go for solving other questions so that you might not get really one once again now if i may the question hmm okay one equation is there Are you gonna solve this? Let me know. 
uh, one second a is equals to symbol of a this is the last equation we are discussing today Okay, guys. These are uh, this is an equation which states that wrong equation. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, which says that a, a square x square minus three a p x plus two b square equals zero. Find the roots of the equation in terms of a. Answer. Don't use your brain. Use commands. Mm -hmm. Answer quick. One function, one line, one answer. No, I'm sorry. Two answers. Roots are there. Okay. Easy guys. S will answer. Okay. You use the functions which starts from S. Simplify. Simplify. Do simplify. Solve. Solve. Do. What is the answer then? Five word function it is. I'm taking so much time. b by x a b by x and 2b by x answers easy try solving a lot of things are there. Okay, fine. Let's take one more equation. At this time, quick answer, right? Three x squared. Write down in your systems. Five multiplied by square root of five. That is like five root five x minus ten. Three x squared plus five root five x minus ten is equals to zero. Give me the answer. Root 5 by 3 minus 2 square root of 5. Minus 2 square, that means minus 4 root 5. Minus 2 square root 5. That means and uh, square root of 5 divided by 3. 
okay uh, you said minus square minus 2 square root of 5 and then square root of 5 by 3 okay one answer is square root of 5 by 3 another is minus 2 root 5 minus 2 minus 2 root, root 5 right five. yeah yeah correct okay two two answers are there that is okay equation oh, why i have got something wrong is there Hmm, one answer why by I think that is what minus one giving it there. Why three x square plus five square root of x minus ten equals zero. Solve of v is not giving minus 2. What is the problem? <sighs> Alright, fine. So, uh, you can use a lot of functions when, you know, like in physics we can go dimensional analysis. A lot of things are there. Okay, practice 